Hey y'all, want to give you a quick update on a very exciting topic, uh, invoice and bill refunds and credits. So historically, you've always had the ability to set a negative invoice or bill, but the problem was, well, maybe one, it wasn't super intuitive, but then two, also QuickBooks couldn't accept it because they treat those things a little bit differently. So we released an update here that allows you to do either a refund or a credit on any negative invoice or bill. So I'll show you how it works if you go into a job and you're issuing either a customer invoice or a vendor bill, you can do a negative amount. So let's say $500, create that here, and you'll see two new options, one for refund and one for credit. The difference between the two, I think everyone understands the refund, you're giving the money back. On the vendor side, you're receiving money, uh, but uh, the credit is a little bit more foreign maybe, probably not, but the idea is that you are reducing the amount collected but holding the money to be applied on a later invoice or bill for that particular customer or vendor. So let's walk through this customer example. So in this case, if I do the refund option, this is uh, the same thing as doing the old record payment, where you're just saying this dollar amount is being refunded immediately. Please keep in mind, this is not actually sending the money back to the customer. This is just a record, right? That would need to be processed separately. The credit is um, the credit option we just discussed where you're reducing the amount collected on this job, but we are going to have $500 that we can apply to a future invoice. In this case, if you go up to the customer's account and you click on payments, you can see this right here, right? We have this record of $500 being received and it's unapplied currently. So back on the job, if I go create another invoice, for let's say two grand. I'll have the opportunity, if I click record payment, to use that credit on this invoice. And it doesn't have to be on this job, right? Because it's applied to the customer level, we might have 500 jobs for this customer. It could be applied to any single one of them. So I'll click here, apply that amount. And now this is a partially paid invoice of which the rest could just be uh, paid separately in different draws. So that's how the, the credit option work uh, works, excuse me. Um, and the refund again is, is very similar to the old functionality that we had in place. A big part of this is the QuickBooks side, right? So now that we have made these changes, you can actually uh, create these and have them recorded in QuickBooks as well. Beforehand, you were doing a little bit of duplicate work where you're having to also put it into QuickBooks so the numbers are right in that system also. So on the customer side, what we've changed is any refund to the customer is gonna be recorded in QuickBooks as a refund receipt. A credit created in JobTread is gonna be a credit memo over on the QuickBooks side of things. On the bills, we don't have the ability to push refunds at the moment, but on the credit side, we will be creating a vendor credit within QuickBooks uh, in order to um, create that record as well. Uh, the cool thing is that it's two-way street. So anytime any of those, uh, the, the vendor refunds or credits or the customer refunds or credits come through, if you're connecting those and tying those to the job, it will automatically create a record within QuickBooks. So you don't have to create everything within JobTrade. It can also be created on the QuickBooks side as well. It's just up to you and your workflow and how you want to run things, but just know it's a two-way street. To get this set up on the QuickBooks side, you do need to go into settings, into your integrations, QuickBooks Online. And right here, you're gonna look for this sync credits option. That will make it possible to pull those credits in uh, from QuickBooks. So um, those can be recorded. If you don't have the setting turned on, just know it won't send. So definitely turn this on if you like. Uh, that is the quick update. Please let us know if you have any questions. Our email is support at jobtrend.com. Thanks so much.